these choices. Which one? Superpower. Yeah. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Cheers. How many of you guys drink uh, instant coffee? I go uh, to Wajimaya, the Asian grocer, and I pick up um, the Nest Cafe usually. This one here, you know, ever since I got it um, when I was in Japan, I've just been hooked. It saves me a ton of money. You know, you just buy a 20 pack of a 40 pack and then you're you're good for you know weeks and weeks and weeks and I'm not spending time stopping at the coffee shop spending five dollars for a latte or something like that and uh, it's, it's delicious ah, I'm not saying it's healthy but boy is it sweet drop a little bit of creamer in it and uh, it's golden but I'm, I'm trying to slim up you know I'm, I'm packing on the, the winter pounds already, so I try to quit coffee, but I just can't. So I stick with this stuff, and it's uh, it helps brighten my day, just like all of you. Anyway, um, now that I'm getting warmed up here, let's see what else we can get into. Oh no, my desk showed up. My desk showed up and it's damaged. I'm trying to get my home thing going on and what do we have? Oh man, there it is. Yep, looks like I need to reorder the countertop. Let me get a picture of this and... Oh well, every day's not perfect, right? Hello everybody. Who wants to help me out with some clutch work? Do you guys want to join me? As I dive deep into this dual mass clutch job on this E90 M3, let's rock it out. All right, let's get it, get it. Ah, let's see. Locked and loaded. Ready to rock out with these bolts. And I'm just gonna jam them. Don't wanna wreck any of them. So I'm tapping on them so that they don't back talk too much. Now what you're supposed to do is take them out lightly in a circular pattern so you don't mess up the uh, pressure plate, plate tongues. But I'm not reusing this clutch. No way, sir. Not today, motherfucker. All right, so. Got some dowel pins that it's gonna be sitting on. All the bolts are out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. comes ah. disgusting and there it is the flywheel and there it is the clutch looks like there's plenty of clutch material here yes no maybe so look at that look at the splines on that thing this is beautiful. So usually what you look for is it to be close to the rivets and it actually is on this inside rather close to the rivet there. If it's touching the rivet then you know you're it's definitely time but it's right there it's just about to touch. So this goes inside of the pressure plate here which has a gear in it. So it's actually locked. That's an interesting design. Look at the teeth on that. 
Are y'all getting that? Can you see that? That's wild, man. See the, the heat scarring on the pressure plate. So it slides on the inner splines and then, wow, never seen one like that. I don't get it. Anyway, let's have a look at the, the flywheel. You know, not, not as bad as I would have thought. See, so there's your spring action. Instead of it being in the clutch disc, it's in the flywheel. And here's for the, the crank sensor. It reads off these teeth here. Hmm. Pilot bearing feels okay. But we're gonna replace all this. And how does this come out? Who's up there? Who's up there? Got my handy dandy snap on light there that you just ran into. Looks like we got some. Uh, yeah, some bolts in there. They better behave on the way out. Let's get it out and then let's look at our new parts, shall we? And here is the special tool for the uh, flywheel socket, or flywheel bolts, from Sir Tools. Let's make it happen. So the bolts are offset, and they're T60. So to use this socket, it has to be thin in the middle to get a straight line on it. Thanks, BMW. Thank you for your engineering prowess. All right, and we can do a unboxing. We had World Pack overnight some clutch kit parts, flywheel. So let's see what we got. Looks like the flywheel's getting here later. Ah, oh, man. No, this is the flywheel. My clutch kit is still not here. But that indeed looks right. Nice and shiny, comes with replacement bolts that are very specific because they don't even come out, I believe. Yep, there you have it. There's your balance weights, your bolts, your toner ring, and your nice beautiful surface area. Oh yeah, baby. How does our rear main seal fare? It's actually a little damp. Uh, not really. Let's take a look at the new unit. Correcto. Do you think this is correct? Si, sí, senor. It's correct. Correct the mundo. Looks like the right stuff. It's a nice seal. High quality stuff. All right. All right, now for this remain seal, it doesn't have a uh, Uh, a lip spring so I think it's the type that you set it in there and then you wait a certain amount of time but I'm not going to use um, 
anything but motor oil on it because I don't want to compromise it. And I have to be super careful putting it in because it is pretty high and I might have to use my little trick of using like a <laughs> piece of cardboard paper or something. But let's just see how easily it wants to start the lip and I made sure to clean the inside of the or the ceiling surface on the crankshaft as best as I could. So we'll start the bottom first. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need to use my my sneaky tool to start the seal and then gently install it. Yeah, I'm sure there's a, sometimes there's a special, like I can make a cone, you know, piece of paper cone and then slide it up on a real glossy piece of paper until it just pops up in there. Like take a, a full piece of paper and then, you know, put it around there and then cone it at the end. I think that's what I'll do. So that'll be a, a lengthy time process. So you guys just sit back and we'll. Okay, always nerve wracking when putting in roommate seals because you don't want to have to go back in there after it's leaking and do all that incredible labor just because of a $20 seal. But it looks like they put some epoxy or something in these corners here. Maybe to keep the seal from backing out or maybe to just seal the case here a little bit, but I'm gonna just put in some of my favorite um, Toyota seal packing right there, just cause that's what was there before. Just a real light coating. I don't know, insurance? the slightest bit insurance. Yeah, hmm, I don't know. I feel good about it. <laughs> so, yeah. And because of that, I gotta change my glove because that stuff will get over everything, all over everything and everywhere. All right, so now I can pull out the, um, pilot bearing and let's see I have a little slide hammer pilot bearing uh, slide hammer for that this guy where did I get this made in USA with globally sourced components so made with components from China but assembled in the USA is that what that says I don't know but let's see how much luck we have pulling out. Pilot bearing. Yeah. Yeah. All right, come on, baby. You're my friend, right? We're getting along, aren't we? Be a good pilot bearing and pop out of there. Look at it move, look at it go. Yes, please. Thank you. Nice. I like it when they go that smooth. They don't always. They sure as hell don't always. So I'm happy about that. And now let's go to have some lunch. My disgusting magical concoction. It takes me five minutes to make and one minute to shake. Oh yeah, baby. 
baby. Mmm. The flavor, the texture, mamma mia, it's a delicious. <laughs> <laughs>